Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is the first time I'm actually going to speak on this and help you get an understanding as to why it is this project was made. This re-edit of the Star Wars sequels was even um, thought of. Now obviously a lot of people did not enjoy the sequel trilogy. Some people really did and that's okay. Um, I had some issues with it, but the main thing that really inspired this project was the sequel trilogy itself. Why? Well, because I looked at, I looked at what they, what they had done and I said to myself, wow, what amazing artwork, what amazing cinematography, what amazing ideas, um, everything about it was ext was full of talent of some of the most talented people on this planet in this field and it looked fantastic and um you can't take anything away from that lucasfilm was full of these people these amazing artists and they did such a good job and there was such an, a good concept for the characters each of the characters that they created had massive potential i looked at it and i said wow you know this is this has a a, a real good road ahead of it and even after force awakens was a little bit anticlimactic and kind of uh dull and obviously a rehash even at the end of that you said well look man they could they, they could, there's a lot of places they could go with this this could be really phenomenal and um so my issues have nothing to do with the the characters themselves in terms of the the, the idea of them my issues have nothing to do with um what i saw on the screen they have nothing to do with with the potential that was there, it has everything to do with the story and the writing, which was bad. It was, it was bad folks. It really was, you know, you could go character by character. Is there any character in this movie, any sort of central figure that was written well, or that reached their potential? I mean, you can go on down the list. Han Solo goes from a general in the war against the previous empire. And, turns into a deadbeat dad loser who actually regresses as a person from somebody who made huge, um, who had huge growth from the time we meet him in, in a new hope to the end of the original trilogy as a, as a man and, um, as a person and, uh, obviously career wise. And yet now he is estranged from his wife who they were deeply in love at the end of Jedi. And he's now back smuggling and is basically just, a guy and he's not even really himself anymore he doesn't have his wit he doesn't have his charm he doesn't have anything he's just kind of it would have been natural for maybe to lose some of that as he got older but anyway that's one example um leia lost a lot of her energy um she was um less funny about sort of her criticisms and more just directly criticizing which was not as good writing although her character probably saw the least um the least negative other than of course no indication whatsoever of her having any force powers, no indication of her whatsoever having any training, no indication of anything to do with her being interested in using the force other than maybe the odd little feeling of her brother or this and that here and there. And there she is floating through space using the force somehow. So her progression, made, she progressed, but it made absolutely no sense. And she did stay a general, which made sense. Of course, she's estranged from Han for some unknown reason. Never explained any of that either. Uh, you look at Finn. Finn comes in. What a phenomenal idea! Uh, defective stormtrooper. The the he does help them once in Starkiller Base. You know, figure some stuff out. That's cool. And then after that, he's just basically just just an extra. I mean, he really serves no purpose, really at all. I I don't I don't know. I mean, he, sh he shoots the tower in in uh, what's it called again? The Rise of Skywalker. Okay, yay. Other than that, his he had he he was what a waste. The potential was huge for him. Uh, Ray, the potential was huge for her to have a really amazing arc. Uh, I love the idea of a female Jedi lead role, uh, but just just no no pain, no going through anything, no um, development of her character. She's basically the, the same from the very beginning to the very end. She doesn't struggle really with anything. Um, she cries and hugs people, but other than that, there's no real, there's nothing really behind that. I mean, what are you crying and hugging people for? You don't even really know. But anyways, so she had huge potential. I, and I love the actors that they chose for these roles, by the way. They're very, all, all very good. They were just, they were just mismanaged. Poe, he was, he was kind of okay. He was kind of the one guy that was okay. I actually didn't mind him. Um, they wrote him sort of, you know, basic and as simple and, and, and quite well, actually. I, I didn't mind him. 
Um, Snoke was a complete and utter waste. Uh, turned out to be a test tube baby. Makes no sense. Um, and why is Palpatine cloning Force users if in Disney canon in their comic book he's the one who seeded Shmi and he can just make he can just use a surrogate and just make people like Anakin Skywalker. Why is he going around cloning for? What's the point? What a waste of his time when, when you just seed another person and be done with it. But, but alas, this is, uh, this is the, the, the nonsense of the Disney trilogy. And then, of course, bringing Palpatine back was just a total disaster. Now he's a clone in Episode Six, so you just ruined the climactic ending of, of Return of the Jedi completely. It's just utter nonsense, and they just screwed it up so bad. Um... Then you want you you know I could go on about the characters, but then you know there's Rose, there's all these useless characters. But then you go into the, you know the lore that they, they messed up. Um, this this force skyping stuff was was lame. I I really loved the fact that that force sensitive people could could feel each other. You know, like Vader feels feels uh, Obi Wan and so on. But you never had this force skyping nonsense. They could sense each other's presence. They couldn't see each other and all this crap. It's it's just a it's just a modern iPhone idea. That was bad. The Force Ghosts interacting directly with the physical world ruins the lore completely. Why wouldn't you just have Yoda show up and just burn the Emperor if that's what he can do? Because you can't harm a Force Ghost, so what the heck was the point of all that? Totally ruins the lore. Makes everything after that is totally pointless because Force Ghosts could just show up and do whatever they want. It's dumb. Another one that was really bad was the Holdo Maneuver. So now going forward, you can't do a sequel trilogy now. You just can't built off of this because no no rebel leader could justify sending anyone up in space to risk their lives and you could just send a droid up there with a ship and just blow through everything they've ruined it there's nowhere to go there's nowhere to go with the force because if anybody dies you can just heal them and even if they don't die then they can be or if they do die they can become a force ghost and then they can come in and interact with the physical world anyway so there's nowhere to go they have they have completely built a wall in terms of being able to write a compelling story now. So I said to myself, and this is, this is, these are, there's so much more, but I said to myself, this needs to be fixed and be written in a way that makes coherent sense and hopefully makes many of the fans who are disappointed with some of the characters um, feel better. And that's where I'm going to end this on what they did to Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. It just doesn't make any sense. You don't go from a, I'm going to go on a suicide mission to save my father because I think there's good in him to, I'm going to kill my nephew. Um, because I think there might be bad in him. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's not him at all. And and then to say the Jedi need to end, and this is all stupid and nonsensical, and they did this, they made mistakes. Yeah, sure, they made mistakes, but it doesn't turn. that doesn't make Luke turn into a hermit loser. Second of all, he's supposed to be a Jedi Master, but he's dumb. Because... He says he wants to go to an unfindable island or a place nobody could ever find him. But then he goes out of his way to put his coordinates in a BB unit. In Poe's, essentially Poe's BB unit. Like, why would he do that? If he wanted to just go there and die, why did he do that? Is He's not dumb. I guess he is dumb now. He's dumb and he's bitter and he's mad about things that he shouldn't be mad about. And he's nonsensical and makes no sense. And he's he's kind of a jerk. He's a jerk to uh, to to Ray, and you never see him do anything. He never actually fights anybody. He never actually really physically confronts his nephew. He's basically just a giant hologram, and then he dies, and it's just a complete waste. And you sit there and you go, "What did I just watch?" So they've they effectively took a dump on the lore of this of this franchise. Um, they didn't incorporate really any references to the sequels, which would have tied everything together. They didn't really they didn't do anything uh, that that. that built on anything of the past they just kind of stomped their feet on top of it and then wrote something else and now they're left with absolutely nowhere to go you if, if you can explain to me in the comment section how you write a sequel trilogy now after the things that they've done with force ghosts with everything else with the, with the holdo maneuver with with ray being the only jedi who ignites her lightsaber for absolutely no reason just so we can see that it's yellow and go ooh yellow the whole thing is just really bad and um Anyway, so it was a shame, so I redid it. I hope you guys like it. It's it's not going to be perfect. There's going to be the odd little cringy spot, you know, because, you know, I can only do so much, you know, uh, on my computer. I'm not Lucasfilm. I'm not as talented as those, as those guys. I certainly don't have the resources. So there's going to be the odd time where the mouths don't move um, the right way when someone's talking or that it looks a little bit cringy at times. Um, but overall, I did my best to make it look as palatable as possible, and I hope you guys really like it. And if you like this content, please like, please subscribe to the channel, and feel free to share it with your friends uh, as we try to build this up. This is for the fans, by the fans. Also, if you see 
any any fan artwork or anything done by any fans that is incorporated into this that is not referenced in the description, I would really like it if people would inform me of that because I really want this to be all about um, all of us. And this project does incorporate a lot of uh, fan-made stuff, especially um, really phenomenal music, but then some other things as well, some uh, art pieces, um, um, and, and as well as fan-made films as well uh, are incorporated uh, and, and transformed, of course, but they're incorporated as well. So I do want to give credit where credit is due, so please let me know that as well, guys. So, uh, midnight tonight, I will be releasing it, so enjoy. Enjoy.